Okay, the second instrument that we use is manometer. Yeah, this is a manometer. A manometer is a U-shaped tube. Okay, you can see that this is a U-shaped tube. Eh? Sometimes you can even make this part, okay, this is L-shaped, right, okay, but uh, this L-shape actually is not necessary. You can even make it straight also, eh? okay, both sides straight also can, okay. We make it L-shaped, it's for easy for us to connect it to the uh, the container. So this is a manometer, it's just a U-shaped tube, and then it's uh, filled with some liquid here, okay, filled with some liquid. And usually we use mercury. Yeah, and the reason we use mercury is because the densities of mercury is very high. The density is very high, so uh, so even though the pressure is very high, then uh, the the liquid will only move a little bit. Eh? So manometer is a device used to measure gas pressure in the container, and the pressures of the gas is given by the equation. The pressures of the gas equal to the pressures of the atmosphere. Atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure plus the pressures of the liquid. Okay, so I'll, I'll discuss this later. Okay, yeah. Uh, how to measure by how to measure by using this manometer and how to use this formula to find the gas pressure. Okay. Now before that, there are a few important things that you need to know uh, when when using this uh, manometer. Okay. The very first thing that you need to know is the pressure of the gas including the pressures of the atmosphere is the same at different level at different level if uh the the difference of the height is not a lot okay for example uh, for example at this point this point and this point okay even though this point is higher this point is lower but uh their pressure is the same okay the pressure is the same and uh, this point and this point the pressure is the same and this point and this point the pressure is the same even though this is higher this is lower uh, the pressures of the gas is the same at different level if the the difference of the height is not very obvious uh, but if you compare here with Gunting Highland Cameron Highland uh, then the pressures of the gas will be different eh? but just a few meters eh? uh, the, the pressures of the gas is the same okay that's the very first thing that you need to know the second thing that you need to know is the pressure of the on the, the pressure on the surface of the liquid. Okay, this is a liquid, right? Okay, this is the surface of the liquid. Yeah? This is the surface of the liquid. The pressure of the surface of the liquid is equal to the pressures of the gas the surface exposed to. For example, this one, okay, it exposed to the atmosphere, right? This atmosphere, okay, it exposed to the atmosphere. So the pressures on the surface is the, the the pressures on the surface is the atmospheric pressure. This one also is exposed to the uh, atmospheric gas or the atmosphere, and therefore the pressures on this surface is also uh, the atmospheric pressure. The pressure on the surface of a liquid is equal to the pressures of the gas that it exposed to. If we expose to hydrogen gas, then this is the pressures of the hydrogen gas. Huh? Okay, if exposed to uh, methane gas, then this is the pressures of the methane gas. That, that's the second thing that you need to know. The third thing that you need to know is uh, for the given liquid, the same liquid, uh, same level, same pressure. Okay, so this pressure and this, the pressure here and the pressure here is the same uh, because they are at the same level. Same liquid, uh, same liquid, same level, same pressure. That's what you need to know before using manometers. Uh, manometers. Uh, after this, I will explain to you uh, when, when this is connected to a container, then I will explain to you how do we use this formula to find the pressures of the gas. Uh. Okay, just now this one is exposed to atmosphere, okay, atmosphere, and then this two, uh, the level is the same. Uh. But if this is connected to a tank like this, okay, so you see this is connected to a gas tank. Uh, uh, it means uh, it means uh, it's something like this. Okay, let me draw it. Okay, so this is the manometers. Okay, this is the manometer, and uh, there's a tube here. Connect this to a gas tank. Okay, and uh, let's say this is a gas tank. Okay, with some methane liquid here. Okay, so you see the manometer is uh, connected to a gas tank. If it's connected to the gas tank, and let's say uh, the pressure, the atmospheric pressure is uh, 100,000 pascal and uh, the pressure inside the tank is 120,000 pascal. The pressure of the gas tank is higher 
So if the pressure of the gas tank inside the gas tank is higher, it will push this liquid. It will push the liquids to go down. Okay, this side to go up. So it will push the liquid to go down. This one go up. Initially, the levels is the same. Okay, it's the same levels. But if if it's connected to the gas tank, the pressures of the gas will push the liquids down. This side or the left hand side will go down. This one will go up. That's what happens. Okay, that's what happens. Just now, I told you that the surface of the liquid, for the surface of the liquid, the pressures on the surface of the liquid is equal to the uh, the gas it exposed, right? Okay. So this one is exposed to the gas in the in the tank, the gas tank. So the pressure here is the pressures of the gas. Okay. Because it's exposed to the gas, maybe methane gas or hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, we don't know, okay? Uh, but it's it exposed to the gas, so therefore the pressure here is the pressures of the gas. Then, how about this point? This point, yeah? So what's the pressure here? Now you see, this point and this point, same level, right? Yeah, same level. Eh? And I, I told you just now, if the levels of the gas uh, are the same, then the pressure are the same, right? So this is the pressures of the gas. This one same levels. So this one also the pressures of the gas. Eh? Okay, this one is also the pressures of the gas. So they are the same level. How much is the pressure here? How much is the pressure here? And now there are two things uh, contribute to the pressure here, right? Okay. The first one is the atmospheric pressure pressing down. And the second is the pressures of the liquid. Right? There are two pressure. The first one is atmospheric pressure, and the second one is the uh, the the pressures of the liquid. So therefore, the pressure here is equal to the pressures of the uh, atmosphere plus the pressures of the liquid. Right? And just now we say that because these two points are at the same level, right? Are at the same level, and therefore their pressure must be the same. So therefore, this point, the pressures. At this point, it's also equal to the pressures of the gas. So therefore, we have this formula. So we have this formula. The pressures of the gas is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the pressures of the liquid. Ah, so that is how we find the pressures of the gas. How we find the pressures of the gas. Huh? Okay, by using this formula. If you don't really understand this, okay, because this I, I just explained to you how to get this formula, okay. If you don't really understand this, fine, okay, yeah, because uh, as long as you remember this for this formula, then you can find your answer. Okay? Let me give you one example here, okay. Let's say in this case, uh, the atmospheric pressure, the PATM, uh, the atmospheric pressure is equal to 76 uh, cm mercury. Okay, I hope you still remember what is this cm mercury. Yeah? We have learned this last week. Eh? So the atmospheric pressure is a uh, seventy six cm mercury, and this is a mercury. Okay, this is a mercury Hg. The height, the h, uh, the height here is uh, let's say this is five cm, five cm. Okay, so this is mercury, eh? mercury. In this case, uh, uh, can you please tell me what's the pressures of the gas? This is the pressures of the gas. Eh? So the pressures of the gas is equal to the pressures of the atmosphere plus the pressures of the liquid, right? So the pressures of the atmosphere is 76 cm mercury and the pressures of the, the pressures of the liquid. Now this, the liquid is mercury and it's 5 cm. Eh? The pressures of the mercury is equal to 5 cm mercury. So the pressures of the mercury is 5 cm mercury. So therefore it's equal to 81 cm mercury and that's how that's how we measure the gas pressure by using manometer so the the pressures of the gas uh, uh is same at this level and this level the pressure is the pressures of the liquid plus the pressures of the atmosphere uh for manometer there are a few points that you need to know when using a manometer so i think i already explained to you just now okay so difference in gas pressure at different level can be ignored Okay, I, I told you just now, right? The, the pressure of the gas here and the pressure of the gas here and the pressure of the gas here will be the same. Will be the same, even though they are at different level. Eh? Okay, they are different level. 
So difference in the gas pressure in a difference level can be ignored. So we assume that the gas is uh, the gas pressure is the same. Pressure on the surface of liquid is equal to the gas pressure in contact. Okay, it depends on what's the gas it exposed. Okay? It exposed to methane then is the pressures of the methane. It exposed to oxygen then is the pressures of oxygen. Right? That is the pressures on the surface of the liquid. And uh, pressure that caused by liquid is H rho G. Okay, we use this one to find the pressures of a uh, liquid. Huh? Okay, uh, this one is using Pascal or uh, unit Pascal. Okay, if you want to find your answer in Pascal, then we use this, this formula. Okay, but if you just want to find your answer in CM Mercury, then you don't need to use this, this formula. Okay, this formula is only when you want to find your answer in Pascal. And for a given liquid, uh, pressure at any points of the same level are the same. Huh? Okay, so same level, same pressure for the same liquid. Huh? Okay, so these are the important points that you need to know. Okay, and the last one, uh, for different liquid with different density, pressure at the same level will be different. Okay, if the liquid is not the same. Okay, now how can uh, the liquid is not the same? Uh, let me show you one example. Okay, you can put two liquids. Um, so this is a U tube. Okay, uh, you can put one liquid here. Okay, there's another liquid and there's another liquid. Okay, so there are two liquid here, right? And these two liquids are in. Uh, 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 one of it is uh, insoluble, okay, so they, they, they won't uh, dissolve in a, another one. So then we have two liquids, eh? okay. Now if you have two liquids, then same levels, eh? so uh, let's say these two are same level, okay. Uh, same levels, the pressure may not be the same. If the liquids are not the same, eh? two different liquids, eh? even though same levels, eh? the pressure is not the same. Only if the liquid is the same, given liquid means the same liquid, eh? same liquids, uh, same level, same pressure. If different liquids with different density, same levels, the pressure will be different. So make sure that you understand this. Eh? So when you use manometer to measure the gas pressure, that is what you need to understand eh? or what you need to know. Okay, example eight. So figure five shows a manometer containing mercury connected to a tank with methane liquids and gas. Find the pressures of the gas supply in the unit cm mercury and pascal okay first they want you to give your answer in cm mercury and then after that they want you to give your answer in pascal i think uh, cm mercury should be no problems okay so this question would like us to find the pressures of the gas so the pressure of the gas is equal to the pressures of the atmosphere plus the pressures of the liquid Okay, now first, uh, let's find our answer in cm mercury. Yeah? Okay, so the atmospheric pressure is 76 cm mercury. Yeah? So this is 76, huh? 76 cm mercury. Okay, so can any of you tell me what's the pressures of the liquid in cm mercury? Cm mercury. We are talking about this point. Yeah? We're talking about this point because the pressures of the gas is equal to the pressures at this point. So we want to find the pressure at this point. This is equal to the pressures of the 20 cm mercury. Okay, that's correct huh? because it's shown here. Okay, 20 cm mercury. Okay, so always remember when you find the pressures of the liquid, okay, it's the pressures of the liquid at this point. And the pressures of the liquid is equal to the length of the mercury column or the liquid column. Okay, if it's 20 cm, then the pressure is 20 cm mercury. So it's 20 cm mercury so this is equal to 96 cm mercury okay so that's the answer that is the pressures of the methane gas okay so pressures of the gas is equal to pressure at this point and pressure at this point is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the pressures of the liquid pressures of liquid is equal to the length of the mercury column then they want us to find the pressure in Pascal as well. If you still remember, we can find the pressure in Pascals by using H rho G. So this is to find the pressure in Pascal. H is the length of the, uh, is the depth, is the depth of the liquids or is the length of the liquid column. Okay. In this case, it's 96 cm. The H is 96 cm, but Okay, if you want to use Pascal, you must convert this to meter. Yeah, meter. So 96 cm is equal to 0 0.96 meter. So that is how we convert uh, cm mercury to Pascal. Okay, we use the formula 
the, the pressures of the gas equals to h rho g h rho g h is the length of the mercury column okay but in meter 0 0.96 0 0.96 eh? then the density the density is uh 13.6 times 10 to the power of 3 eh? okay 13.6 times 10 to the power of 3 and g is always 10 eh? g is always 10 let's see let's see what's the answer okay use your calculator 0.96 multiply by uh, 13.6 times 10 to the power of 3 and then multiply by 10 130560 130560 Pascal okay so this answer in Pascal okay so you can see uh, see here we can find our answer easily in centimeter mercury okay and then we can use this formula this formula uh, to change this to cm mercury to Pascal okay to Pascal why h is equal to 96 eh? okay why is h equal to this 96 okay first of all okay this pressure and this pressure is the same yeah both right? we also we, we we want to find the pressures of the gas right so this pressure and this pressure is the same eh? okay and uh this pressure equal to 96 cm mercury now what does this mean the pressure of the gas equal to 96 cm mercury okay it, it means that the pressure of the gas is equal to a container that contain mercury okay this is mercury yeah? but this is vacuum eh? okay because uh, we don't we assume that there's no atmospheric pressure anymore okay the depth is 96 cm 96 cm eh? so uh so the pressure at this point the pressure is equal to 96 cm mercury right that is that is how we measure the pressure uh inside the mercury okay the pressure inside the mercury is equal to the depth of the mercury if it's 96 cm from the surface then the pressure here is 96 cm mercury if how about this point let's say this point is 30 cm from the surface then the pressure here is 30 cm mercury okay the pressure here is 30 cm mercury Okay, 30 cm mercury. That's how we measure the pressure inside mercury. Yeah? Okay, the pressure is equal to the depth of the mercury. But then uh, this is in cm mercury. Then how about in Pascal? How many Pascal? Okay. Um, two weeks ago, we learned that the pressures of liquid. Pressures of liquid is given by the formula H rho G. Yeah? And H is the depth. It's the depth of the liquid. So what's the depth of the liquid? 96 cm right so the depth of the liquid is 96 cm huh? okay so so that's why okay the h is 96 huh? okay because if you want to find your answer in pascal then you must use the formula h rho g huh? h rho g and the h is the depth and the depth is 96 cm but uh if you want to use pascal you must change this 96 to meter 0 0.96 meter so it's a uh, 0 0.96 huh? okay and then times density times g okay because 96 cm mercury means the pressure is the pressure 96 cm below the surface of a mercury 96 cm mercury means 96 cm below the mercury and to find the pressure in pascal we use the formula h rho g